Warning, the story contains massive spoilers for the story Elements of Discord. If you, are n- if you have not read the story, click the link provided below and read it. If you have read it, enjoy. Or else. Hel- Hello, I am B Fallen Tragedy, and welcome He's to Fanatic bird. Fiction. Welcome to Fanatic Fiction. With me today, I have, as usual, Lightning and AR. <laughs> Where I'm usual Hello. now? Th- th- that's yeah. kind of sad when I become you've been, usual. In a, you've in been a usual fit. since episode two, shut up. Actually, no, I missed out on the elements of Twilight Sparkle. Sprackle? Sprickle? Twilight Spickle! uh, Anyways, and we also have a new member of Fanatic Fiction, a new fanatic. Uh, Introduce yourself. No. Hi, I'm Duhod. I'm uh, one of the VAs on uh, the, well, whatever it is you call it, whatever it is you do, uh, Cabral. Uh, Just say Muffler Productions. Relevant productions, I guess. Then, I'm also a fan fiction writer and a fan fiction reading reading producer. And he's nah. a writer. In other words, he is. In other words, he is well qualified to be here. Not really. So, yes. let's get this started. Today's story is the elements of discord. Lightning, you want to cover some synopsis for us? The entire thing. It's we'll right. split it up like we'll split it up at like per usual. But you know, let's well, get started. You always right. get started. So, he does most of um, it. the story starts off with uh, and ponies. The, uh, this storm has been brewing and has uh, flowed in from the Everfree Forest. Yay. And as they're calming it... Um, I thought you said as they're communists. There's, there's a lot of devastation and uh, immediately Twilight needs to figure out what is uh, causing it and it ends up going into the Everfree Forest to look for the cause um, where she goes to the castle of the Royal Pony Sisters for and no reason. encounters the remains of what was uh, a skeleton and, 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 a, and a zombie is, and an enderman and they start partying and then a chicken came in shut up and shut Steve up. got AR, mad AR, AR shut up hello let's go so oh. Um, they, uh, as she, uh, as she encounters this, the remains of Night- Nightmare Moon, they actually possess Twilight and turn her into a nightmare version of herself. Now, hold on. This is where, okay, we're just going to get this out of the way right now. She has, her villain, she, her, Twilight is a villain, has the cheesiest name ever. Her I, name I actually, is... she has the best name ever, and secondly... No, They've already name... read this story if they're listening. I don't still. Her name is Twilight Doom. It's amazing. No. <laughs> no. That's because you're, <laughs> it's because you're not saying in the Twilight voice that I have. I really think that's why you're not enjoying it. Because you're like, Twilight, Twilight Doom! Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, okay. Never mind. That, that, is, say that is Twilight's voice. That is AR's Twilight's voice. So she uh, is... Twilight Doom! <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that this whole podcast seemed horribly unprofessional, but never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> you do realize I am in this podcast. Anything I'm a part of will become unprofessional. You, you were not Better professional. Point. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> after that. I'm just ready to say Twilight Doom any other second. So she takes off after becoming um, after becoming transformed. And who's the first pony that she runs into? It's, it's Trixie. Trixie is the first pony she runs into randomly and, in the Everfree Forest, <laughs> and she ends up crushing Trixie's horn Classic. and ren- rendering her um, mute and crippled. And uh, I can't remember what else she does as well. But I mean, um, she makes it so she can't walk properly. She can't walk she properly. <laughs> Damn it. You know, he it's funny. It. I suddenly like this story way more. <laughs> <laughs> because you put Twilight as me. I am now Twilight uh, Doom, and you shall worship me. Now die, Tracy. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, no, it um, it has it totally has to do with the um the funny voice, and not with my seething hatred for uh, Tracy. Go know. on. Oh Wait, Jesus! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't actually. I say between actually... between you and me, we're we're uh, Sophisto's worst nightmare, dude. Oh God! No, I don't. I. I just I don't like her particularly much, but I don't hate her. Go on. Though. I think you just didn't like the story. Go on. Right. Go on. So I mean, uh, after that, the it, it goes into the second chapter. The second chapter oh, um, is when we're introduced to Slice and Dice. Yes, I love Slice and Dice. 
Oh, and gosh. Slice and Dice is the alternate version of <laughs> Fluttershy. Oh, no. Fluttershy. And actually, she actually ends up kidnapping Fluttershy and bringing hey, her hey, to Hey, hey, stay out of my shed. Anyway, Slice and Dice. Pretty much. Yeah, it's basically that. No, no. You know the story behind uh, Slice and Dice? She's uh, evil and no, is in a complete no. parallel opposite universe. All right. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, the I'm reason I chose to... the reason I chose a story to read this week was because I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the Ask Weepy Cry Tumblr, um, and, I, and I I wanted to read the story it was based off of, so I did. I thought, okay, we'll do this one. And um, the the guy who made the Weepy Cry Tumblr really added to like a lot of the backstory of the characters, and it's now accepted by the author's canon. And sure. the re- the reason Slice and Dice is like that is because she was raised by Tim. She was raised by Timberwolves. You know, this doesn't surprise me. She's Romulus and Remus rolled into one, and Except then evil. Made, <laughs> and oh, then Romulus and Remus were kind of evil. No, don't you dare start on that, Cabral. Twilight Doom. <laughs> Twilight Doom. Well, and the funny thing is that she's, you know, she's brought into this uh, other world. I think it's called Astrosia. And yeah, it's Astrosia. Yeah. And and um, she's brought forth to um. This like weird alternate version of Derpy. Oh yes, yes. Which is, I mean, and it's really weird how they describe her because she has like one Dramatic wing, or Derpy. the other one is just like a, uh, you know, yeah. fire. Yeah, it's and made the, of fire. And the other, and, and she only has like one night, eye as well. Night, it's really night. weird. Fix her damn eye problem. <laughs> Fix your eye problem. That's yeah, horrible. Clearly, this is how we should <laughs> solve all. Uh, you know. Minor mutations. You think how we solve all minor mutations? Oh, you're one arm short of the other? Let me get us off for you. Exactly. Makes sense. <laughs> Your ears are too big? Let's hold on. I got scissors in the back of my car. Anyway, so, yeah. Evil Derpy uh, evil. captures Fluttershy, and then what happens? Stuff. Well, it, it, the third chapter um, is a little bit... But it, it goes away from that. It, it, the, the thing jumps around a lot. It the does story jump around. Did uh, they ever really the explain chapter... how they get to Equestria? It's, uh, uh, it's a portal in the Everfree Forest. <laughs> okay. well, yeah, yeah. But I mean, we'll uh, get to that. Um, I the, you know, the, the third chapter talks a lot about um, mm. Celestia finding Trixie. And it's and... the core of finding Trixie. What? It, yeah, it's the core of finding Trixie. Trixie. Yeah, Zipporah right. finds her and brings her to Celestia. Brings her to Celestia. Molestia, right. or Swaglestia. And, uh, Swaglestia's best they, princess. They are able to heal her enough to where she can speak again. Um, and... Which I'd like to just point out, this story about evil uh, alternate universe versions of the main six causing a giant interdimensional war, it has a massive plot and consistency in which you can clearly tell that if you watched that one episode in season two, uh, where uh, Brain Rush breaks her wing, that magic cannot heal. Therefore, this story, non canon. Yep. Well, no <laughs> shit. Well, well, yeah, well, we, know, <laughs> we know that magic can't heal, but then again, I'm not 100% sure when this story was written. Yeah, uh, simply I, because, I, I, simply I, I, because I, I, you know, when they're talking about the elements of Discord, the character Discord is not mentioned at all, which well, leads me to believe this was written be- well, before. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Well, the whole the first, other, the first, hey, if you look at the where it says chapter one, it does say 18th of May, 2012. Yeah. It was written in May and June. So. Yeah, it was assume, so assumably it is written in 2012. Therefore, it was after the Discord episode for so That year. could just be when it was uploaded to Fin Fiction. Uh, no, dude, hey, I thought 2012, that was. But yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. I thought I was thinking about season. Okay, yeah, I was off. I was a year Loser, off. you were thinking. I was a year off. Anyways, no, no, the, the the point is, it's I, I was making a ludicrous point based on really stupid, faulty reasoning. I, I, it wasn't actually meant to be taken seriously. I was well, no, I mean, it, it, it makes sense though because it is canon that healing you can't heal, yeah, you know, with magic. Well, yes, I know, but the, the thing is. That's kind of the least uh, inconsistent thing in the story that <laughs> you know is all about per- ponies murdering one another yeah. with the help of dragging Cthulhu. <laughs> Which so, is probably the only know, reason I like the story it's, was it's something you just kind of feel yeah. Like, like I said, this, that's probably the only reason I like the story is just because of its description and action. I didn't really care for the story itself too much. I like the story. Well, anyway, uh, keep, go, going on 
working with it. Um, when, when Trixie tells him that it was Twilight that, that did this to her, Luna is sent into the uh, into the Everfree Forest to uh, go and try to find her. And when she meets up with Twilight, Twilight Circle, <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, she uh, Twilight brings out this army of Twilight the Dreams. denizens of hell, and it's just I mean th- th- some of the things that they describe. Is just ridiculously awesome. It's, yeah, it's, gruesome and just just grotesque. I do like stuff uh, like that. It's if the if a army of Lovecraftian horrors were joined by an that's, army of zombies. You can tell that's where he got his uh, his inspiration from, right? It was H.P. Yeah. Lovecraft. I mean, come on. It was Lovecraftian all up in this shit. Moo. <laughs> and, anyways. So is yeah, Twilight's uh, battle her, cry she, doom? She, yeah. like the she blue takes it out of there, there barely uh, by transforming into like a wisp of smoke and just, just you know, flying away. By almost being kissed uh-huh. to death by something. Well, she was almost, yeah. Well, it, she was kissed, that, she would have been kissed to death. That is essentially what was going to happen to Luna. I'm going to be kissed to death. And then Twilight's in the background, you're like, Twilight doom all over. <laughs> Damn Twilight Luna shippers, when will you be satisfied? How many deaths will it take? <laughs> Why am I asking you all these questions? Stuff like that. Doom. Anyway, continue lightning. Um, chapter 4 moves into uh, Applejack's farm, and Big Mac uh, ha- uh, is uh, called over to the barn by what is presumably Applejack. And ends up uh, being captured by the uh, this other version of Applejack and Big Mac, which uh, are what is it? Do uh, Amanita, Amanita, Amanita Jack, Jack and, and Big, Big Mouth. Yeah, is that a type of um, So they are immediately Just captured the by these other versions of themselves, and. Um, Questioned because apparently they were supposed to. Th- th- this invasion was supposed to happen, and they can see that preparations are being made to um, to pre- defend against an invasion. But what they don't know is that they're not. They're they're trying to defend against Twilight's invasion, not this invasion from this other world. So, it, you know, it, it's kind of funny that. You have this one invasion that's about to happen, Beyond. and then another one takes its place. Gentlemen, double invasion. It's a double penetration. The invasion has been doubled. Due to the recent activities by the evil alicorn, Twilight Doom, this council of ponies has decided to initiate the XCOM project. <laughs> <laughs> that's not yeah, So, so um, at, at that point in time... Um, it, it, you know, uh, it, it goes into um, the different uh, preparations that are going on, and it mentions that Ditsy Do, uh, also known as Derpy, uh, has been Derpy Derpy. delivering mail, and at one point in time runs into the other version of herself. Dun, 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 dun. And uh, dun, dun, dun. it's really strange because, like, she's. Huh. She, uh, I mean, she realizes that this other derpy. version of her is not very friendly, but she wants to be friends with her anyway. She, uh, she's derpy. She's a simpleton. Yeah, oh. I know. Wow, you're oh. kind. She is. You're kind. You're kind. Well, technically, but, all anyway. we know about her is the fact that she's a bit clumsy and has, you know, a wonky eye. I know, but fandom. She in the okay, fandom, she's a simpleton. True. By the way, this other version of uh, of Ditsy Do is called Bubbly Grime. That's and eventually, it, he just gives, leaves Ditsy behind and just. Uh, speeds off towards Ponyville, Whee! and uh, Ditz uh, Duke kind, of, kind of goes along her way and ends up going to Sweet Apple Acres, where Applejack and Big Mac are uh, being, being held hostage. captive. The right. hell is hostage. Hostage. And actually, Pasta. What? She actually sees this going on and um, ends up rescuing both Applejack and Big Mac, and uh, they. Uh, she, she she takes him to Celestia, right? Yes. Celestia. Yes. So they all go over and tell her about this other yes. invasion that's supposed to be happening as well. 
Hey, Celeste, we thought we'd like, like to let you know that there's an invest, invest, investigation, invasion going to happen, like, soon from another dimension. Can you, like, fix that? Yeah, so I already knew. The army of zombies and Cthulhu's. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. Cthulhu. We no, have no, the other invasion. Other invasion. You mean multiple Cthulhu's? My God. <laughs> oh, no. Down the armies. Oh, no. Oh, God. No, I'm just so, yeah, and, anyway, just like as, as this happens, and, and it happens really quickly. I, I, I thought that was kind of weird, but all of a sudden, there's a huge battle that's going on. They yep. they send they send out reinforcements from the, the Griffin Kingdom, and all at once, there's dragons and griffins. Dragons and, and portals opening up everywhere. Lions and, this, and tigers you know, and bears. Zero and scorpions oh, wow. are fighting. The, 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 this army of darkness comes out. <laughs> this of army of darkness comes up. Then they have to go to Mordor. <laughs> and then they I, have to go to Mount Doom. Yeah. And, I mean, Elvis obviously, you, you've you read the story if you're listening to this. You know what happens. You better and, have. We and, 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 you know, oh, this... You. this uh, <laughs> this story, um, the 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 uh, the war or whatever, this battle rages for like three chapters. It's ridiculous how long this this battle is. That's a good battle. Um, I mean, that, that's what this story is pretty much all about. Is it's all action and stuff like that. It's kind of like Battle oh, for Los God. Angeles. Yeah. I, I mean, there's there's. There's just so much that happens. I don't even know if I can even explain everything that goes on. I mean, don't bother. It's Basically, the evil, the evil Celestia rides around. Celeste rides around on a big version of Spike. You got a big version of Spike. That's Pretty what much. it is. It's Spike. Oh, what? Spike. Spike. <laughs> Spike. And then they're flying around. You know, there's and that's exactly what happened. They're dead ponies. There's Griffin snatching up the evil ponies and eating them. Ooh, tasty. Yeah, uh, yeah. they're good it's, fiber. You know. Pretty much MLP crossed with Lord of the Rings as envisioned uh, by a heavy metal yeah. artist. No, as envisioned by H.P. Lovecraft. Can, can somebody make that? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Lord of the Rings as, in, as Which written by H.P. Lovecraft. Which were actually just watching a bit ago. It was, it's no, at the same time, you've got these other versions of the Elements of Harmony. You have Rainbow Crash, which is a red... Um, Stallion? Pegasus? A, red, yeah, red, version a beautiful, of, beautiful of the red mane. Duh. Rainbow rain, not red. He is the greatest and most honorable pony in all of the evil Equestria. Yeah. Uh, then, you have, like, then you have Vanity and... Vanity's actually there's, a Pegasus. One thing I want to this is kind of one thing that really caught me off guard that I don't know... I don't even know why they, they mentioned it. Um, Gilda ends up coming in and refers to... Dash as Lady Prism Radiance Windmere Silver. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, no, and, for some reason, Gilda and Dash and Royalty. Lady Wild, wild Feather Long Wing Strong Beak of the High <laughs> Okay, so, so we got the colonialism going on here where you know. have Gilda no, as the do. Native American Princess of the East, and then we have no. Dash from the Colonial. No, 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 the, no. the, the, the thing is. To me. What? Listen to me. It's, they're ladies, they're not. It's what you want to be. The question is, so there's ladies in the force, they're nobility. Yeah, apparently, I was being Raymond sarcastic, my goodness. Or noble, noble birth. It's just I hate because, all of you. I actually have nobility in my bloodline. You don't see, you don't go around calling me Sir AR. You mean Senor AR. That too. Senor. <laughs> senor. Yeah, and I, I am now Senor. Senor. Yeah. Right, anyways. Anyway. But I mean, it, it, it was just kind of strange. Yeah. Moo. It, it is, is a little bit odd. What's even worse is that after this battle happens and they're trying to heal, you know, uh, Celestia comes to her house, her her mansion, her castle, well, as mansion. she calls it. Dude, it is, a, it is a fucking mansion. Have you seen that house? I've no, seen I... it, but it's not that big. It's not as big Huge. as I mean, It's nice, but it's... It's nice. It's nice, you know. It's nice, you know. I've seen better. I don't think it's all that big, though. Yeah, the, the thing is, it's sort of implied to actually be pretty much essentially the equivalent of a two, you know, like, at most, a two-story uh, house with very limited space. Because no. you, you see the inside of it at one point, it's pretty much just one, you know, it's like one or two rooms at most. And it has a cloud home, which you can easily add on to as well. I'm, I'm sure there's an abundance of clouds you can purchase. Oh, okay, anyways. 
Anyway, point is, <clears throat> point is Rainbow Less Dash and Gilder are randomly royalty. Colors. There's also a bit later on where they kind of imply shipping between uh, Rainbow Dash and Big Mac, but they never Mac, really follow yeah, up on I'm either. You know, the, the thing is, <laughs> they like, never actually uh, build upon these uh, story threads that are introduced. They just sort of get introduced and then forgotten about. Yeah, I, I, yeah that was kind of strange that they introduced them and they don't... They don't do anything and then they're them. never mentioned again. The end, my little pony. I used to wonder how killing. You so, really like to singing that song whenever you sing. I do, because it's an appropriate end yeah. song for almost anything. My grandma okay. dies at a funeral. My little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. Stuff like that. Okay. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> Here's the thing. Eventually, they're able to push back both of these armies because the, the enemies are fighting amongst themselves as well. So, um, it's yeah, easier well, to... It's a three-way conflict, yeah. I say, uh, I say just kill Twilight and get over with, but, you know, bye. So, as <laughs> this uh, alternate army led by Queen Celeste flies back into their, um, a, uh, their portal. other dimension, Twilight yeah. Doom follows them in, and these portals close behind them. Oh, lovely. Uh, and yeah. so, now you have by the way, Fluttershy is still being held captive. Um, yeah. If you were wondering but, this whole time where she was, but you read the story. Yeah. So now the Ironhead revolutionaries need to follow the Black Tear uh, Rebellion and the demons into the oh, wait, hold on, sorry, Into the Death Star. Go on. <laughs> so anyway. Um, throw the one ring into the volcano. I mean, <laughs> this is, and this is, you know, Bubbly Grime gets killed and Rainbow Crash. Well, I don't know what happens. Big Mouth gets he, he, Big Mouth gets fucking because, sliced in two. Yeah, Big Big Yeah, Big Mouth gets killed. Um, Vanity burns to death. If you name yourself after a bass, you're kind of doomed. If you name yourself after a bass, you're doomed most of the more than likely. The the one thing that was cool about it is that when uh w- when the enemy retreated, Celeste cut the portal open for only like half her army, so the other half was still left in Equestria. And Celestia gave them the choice to either, like, join uh, me, join them, or uh, join them or die. And, but, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, join, it, join us, or get fed to the Griffins. Okay. At, at the very least, she didn't automatically kill them right away. She you know why? Because she's a wise and gracious ruler, unlike Luna. Yeah, but here's the thing: <laughs> what the hell happened to Celestia? Do you really think the Celestia from the show would be like, "Hello, army of combatants"? who have been abandoned by your former ruler, you have two choices now. Surrender or be eaten alive by my allies, who I will let tear you limb from limb. She promised him, man. She promised him. Dude, you don't break a promise. That's not cool. It's not a pretty Rainbow promise, so you can't break it. to offer that? It's, she's Still, it's reinforcing, it's it's reinforcing good knowledge. It's, it's moral. Good knowledge? What's knowledge? I do wish to know more of this knowledge you speak of. <laughs> It's reinforcing good morals. Reinforcing things you don't know. You mix up morals. Like, feed your morals. enemies to... No, 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 no. No, no, like, keeping a promise and offering mercy. So it's knowledge. Mercy and promise is turned into knowledge. Though, admittedly, I have less of a problem with that and more a problem with the fact that Evil Celeste, uh, sorry, Evil Celestia, also known as Celeste, uh, seems to be kind of of the, you know, stupid evil... Uh, you know, school of strategy where quite you agree. make decisions not based on their tactical, uh, you know, on their tactical value, but on how evil they are. Well, yeah, like, did, so did, like, did you ever watch Kim Possible? Then she exactly, said whatever. She's Dr. Dr. Kraken. Dr. Yeah, Dr. Kraken. Dragon. Like, well, Dragon. let's see here. I could wait for my army to go through the portal. At worst, I'd have a couple of the enemies slip in after me, and then we could just crush them when they reach our side. Or I could cut them off and lose half my army. Either way works, honestly. Either way works. But you, but you, it's dude, like it's Denzel like, Crocker. Go with the most uh, evil thing. Oh, I'm going to gonna leave they half are. of them they behind. They they Won't Shut they the suffer? They are. What? Shut up. Let me talk. No. I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> let, let him talk for a little bit, okay, please? I like Pookie. Anyways, I agree. It's like Dr. Dragon. It's like, oh, why not Why not make air ducts the size of people? Nothing bad can happen. <laughs> Fine. It's like Denzel right, Crocker. Cool. Denzel Crocker, you mean the guy from Fairly Odd Parents? Yes, the guy. He he always tried to go with the most diabolical ways to get Timmy. Like when he had Norm, the genie, and his magical powers, he went Norm. with the stupidest ways to try and capture Timmy. And Norm's like, "Why don't you just poof from the Mars?" He's like, "Ah, oh, Norm, my friend, you're stupid." Anyway, 
Anyway, so... It's also a kid's show, and they don't want to kill people. You do realize yeah. that they... Wait, yeah, it was a kid's show, and they, he was wanting to kill Timmy Turner. And captured fairies. Yeah. Okay, now, anyway, back to the story. Back to My Little Pony. Anyway, so I believe at this point in the story, uh, the Army of Evil had been brought back into their own dimension, along with uh, Twilight Doom. Doom! Uh, and our heroes, our proper heroes from the main universe... <laughs> and our heroes... Who, and our heroes decided that the only way to save their friend was the to Hall go of back. Justice. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, the Hall, the Hall of, of Justice. Justice. The Hall of Doom. I'm sorry. DJ. The Hall of Doom. The point, is, <laughs> point is, our proper heroes from Universe <laughs> 1 uh, decide that they need to go into the other evil dimension in order to rescue their friends. True. Uh, I, I mean, Twilight. there was like a chapter or two where they go over just this, like... Um, the fucked up world. Well, no, no, no. It's They're going to recovery world. in Equestria first before they head over to Astrosia. And this is actually where... Um, the refractory the, period. Where uh, we, right. Weepy Cry comes into the story. Oh, okay, okay. Can I, can I go on? Can I do this? Yeah, you, yeah, no. yeah, you go, go Thank you. Like, okay, let me preface this. You all know my favorite pony is Pinkie Pie. Haha. <laughs> and so obviously my favorite... Because it's like his personality. Hey, I, hey. I know, right? I'm so happy and bubbly. And, uh, <laughs> anyway. Just like me. Anyway. Anyways, and my favorite, my favorite one of the of the evil, the the Etrosian ponies or Estrosian ponies would have to be Beepy Cry. Uh, one, because I read the Tumblr, and two, just because I mean, she's just so sad. I mean, she's just the quote, she's like me. No, Sorry. the quote, the quote, Celeste, this quote Celeste uses in her thoughts is like spot on. It's like, what's better than than kicking a jester? I mean, jester, jester. I'm trying to say Joker and jester. Anyways, what's better than kicking a jester? Having a jester that kicks itself. <laughs> oh that's, my that's god! So, so cruel. evil. Because that's exactly what Weepy Cry does. She, she. I mean, she cuts herself. I mean, I hate to be emo about it, but she does. <laughs> it's so sad. Oh, and yeah. so she's left. She's left over here, and um, she talks to Celestia and Luna. She goes, "I want to change. I really do want to change." And they're like, "Okay, we can try to do this." They try it. No go. It's not going to work. They need something more powerful. So basically, they knock her ass out, and the Luna says, I'll go in and I'll sift her memories. Because, you know, lobotomizing your enemies to make them happy Lobotomy. is the most morally Lobotomy. justified solution. Well, go and, on, though. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, anyways, um, and then Luna goes into her dreams and starts sifting her memories. And one of the earliest memories is um, it was Weepy and her brother, uh, like, f- you know, fighting them. I won't say play fighting because one of them died. Uh, one of them died. Yeah, Weeby oh. brother. Weeby brother died because of Weeby. Weeby killed killed him. Because Celeste, Celeste da, 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 made, made yes. you and killed so your brother. In, that's been haunting. That's been haunting Weeby throughout her whole life. That's what's keeping her here. It's the last memory to be deleted. And um, you know, and they finally deleted it. And her whole personality is reset. She barely has any memory. She can like remember some of it, but it's like a blur. It's like a fuzz. Yeah. Again, and I... she gets she gets um she lives with the cakes, and her name is Willow, I believe, which you yeah. know. Weeping yeah, Willow Street. I, I get it. Uh-huh. Uh, hold on. I, I know that uh, you're a big fan of this character, and I, I you know, do uh, think that's actually a pretty interesting little thing, though I do want to point out the fact that I personally kind of had a slightly odd reaction to this part, just because it does seem to kind of imply that you know, what is literally the lobotomization of, an, uh, you know, of this person is the you know, correct solution to making her you know, a better person, you know, essentially chopping out all of her memories and locking off parts of her brain as the solution to making her good. And it's it's not something that necessarily is inherently wrong. Like there's actually a lot of moral gray in this thing and there's a lot of a lot of different uh you know, people have tackled this issue on various sides. Uh but it is kind of an odd uh it, it is something I felt like kinda of should bring up that this is an interesting uh, and well, kind of dark uh Act. Yeah, turn in the story. Well, I mean, people people are nothing but the sum of their memories. Um, yeah. You know, your memories make up who you are, it's your personality. And I mean, there's no way to completely reset a person to, you know, more to morality and personality zero without resetting all their memories. Well, that's the thing. I understand. Uh, well, it's, I understand that it's morally like, uh, you know, morally irresponsible to do so, but. No, I'm not saying that in this situation wasn't necessarily right, the right thing to do. But the thing is, it does actually raise the interesting question of what constitutes murder. Because if you've erased someone's entire personality, haven't you, in a sense, murdered them? No, because no, you haven't killed saying, them because their physical form is still alive and they still well, have that. Yeah, but their, their physical form is still alive, but if their brain is gone, 
then isn't that the same thing as killing them? Because the you do person kill off a personality of something that once was. The personality is what makes an individual. A personality, individual. a personality isn't alive, though. I mean, it's just part of a it's person. It's not necessarily yeah, that. I, I well, but that. you kill, I mean, killing off a personality is, is, in a sense, killing a person. A person is very individual. You have a different person come in the picture entirely. It is not a physical death. It is a mental death. There's I am, a I am different person- for you have reincarnated a new mind to take shape as well through changing different I am, circumstances. I am personality pro-choice. Okay, fair enough. Again, this is entirely, you know, theoretical science fiction we're talking about right now. You know, what value uh, the human, you know, me- you know, the human mind over the body. It's very esoteric, and I probably think we shouldn't be thinking about this uh, thoroughly in the story, which was clearly, you know, not the intention of the author. It's just an interesting point to bring up. All right, okay, hold on real quick before we move on. No. You said intention of the author. I want to point something out. It doesn't matter what the author intended. It matters what the reader interprets. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, that, that is a completely valid school of literary criticism. Yeah, right, anyways, yeah. <laughs> onwards. And All right, so um, they also mentioned at this point in, in time that Fluttershy has been freed by a mysterious being uh, that is actually part of... From outer space. No, not, 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 not quite from outer The alien... Uh, Shut up, AR. What? So, sure. uh, she's been freed. And uh, they uh, also, uh, well, this happened earlier, I think, but they also make Cake? um, they also make Derpy the new element of kindness. Yes. And uh, Luna is the new element of magic. Because those are the two points that are missing that they're going to rescue, but they need all the elements of harmony in order to go and get them. So they yeah, have friendship membership. We can just throw the element on any old pony. Of course. Well, I mean, anybody that exhibits those qualities, why not? Well, and Derpy... It's funny because uh, they, they tell Derpy to go and get um, the element of, of kindness, and as she touches it, it reappears around her neck. Touch. So um, it, it kind of, like, uses her. Touch. My God, you are just like the most insane person thank you. ever of all time. All right. So, um, welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah, oh, well, thank you. So, one of my favorite—I don't know what this. Right, I think this might happen in the end of the story. When does uh, when does Derby put the muffins? <gasps> by the muffins? Way? Wait, what? Muffins? That oh, happened nice. near. Where, actually, that happened quite a bit ago. That was before she that, took on the they, element. What were you saying? Uh, uh, when, Der- she, when Derby put the put the muffins on uh, where where uh, Bubbly Grime died. That was that was. Uh, right around this point as well because remember she gets incinerated right I love that because she puts it there and she goes you know I wish yeah I've always wanted a sister well yeah so and, I, but now I have nothing I never had this was immediately after the battle was that was over yeah. and yeah. she yeah and she she put the muff, muffin down next else. to where she was because she awesome. still wanted Bubble Grime to be her sister um <laughs> and be kind Wound sister but Obviously, that was, that was not going to ever happen. Nope. And they talk. They talk about. Um, she talks about this. Uh, how it was a uh, how the muffins disappeared shortly after, and all the white ash was wiped clean from the wall. Yeah, that's, and they that's, said, that's... they said whether it was. They you know some say that the rain, the rain got rid of the ash and the animals ate the muffins, but some people still wonder if it really was bubbly grime. You know, I thought that was really sweet and awesome. Yeah, right. It was, it was that, nice. that was yeah, cool. I didn't like that. It was, it was nice. So the next uh, chapter goes into them actually um, going out into the Ever Forest, and, and, and oh. uh, they open this That's portal and are able to. Do they open this portal and are able to go into uh, th- this other world? And now while they're traveling there, um, it also it takes a break from that, and it goes into this other world where the where they start talking about uh, Speedy. Um. Which is apparently supposed to be the otherworldly form of Fleetfoot. Ouch. And otherworldly yeah. powers. Yeah, we have the uh, uh, e- evil alternate versions of background ponies now. Yeah. Right. And AR. they start talking about the, these bulls and fillies that have been going to the oh. Ever Forest and oh. ever coming back. Uh, so essentially, just bulls start going missing. And. Speedy encounters uh, Twilight Doom, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's yes. uh, yeah. evil Twilight. 
Yeah, hey, she, hey, wait, 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 wait. You said you said the alternate version of Fleetfoot. That's not right. She's not a Philly. I thought it was. Uh, that wasn't a little. I thought it was a little Philly. Shut up. No, no <laughs> it was the uh, the the mum went uh, to find Twilight first. Remember? Yeah, it was. Was it the mom. alternate version of Twist's mom? Was that it? Well, oh no 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 no. no. Uh, that, um, that, that's that's later on. I'm talking about uh, before. Okay, it, okay, okay. It, Speedy is the first one that goes in there, um, and and she uh, he sees or she. I don't know. It. I, uh, what? Just say it. Yeah. Tw- Twilight it. eats her. It's well, it's no, no, no. It's Twilight I eats her. Oh, well. I, I don't think so. Not yet. That is good. Uh, she. Yeah. <laughs> Twilight. Twilight is there, but 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 uh, Speedy had from her. Anyway, at the same time, this is when the elements of Harmony show up in this new world. However, they realize that six months have passed. Oh, I just realized uh, six months went by. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I thought that was kind of interesting that all of a sudden there were just six months that were gone. It takes a while to get from dimension to dimension, dude. Come on. Apparently. <laughs> so teleportation, yeah. Teleport. And Which actually so, implies there's been a full year since the invasion, actually. Yeah. yeah. That does. Anyway, uh, continue, though. Stupid yes. nail Jeez. <laughs> I like I like Dashy and Piggy's line because Dash is like six months. Who knows what could have happened that time? And what happened to them is they're all evil and stuff, and basically they've been corrupted by Twilight Doom to uh, to ba- to send Phillies into the forest to turn into her evil pawns. If I'm not mistaken, and more or less yes. And so uh, what they do is they I think Twist doesn't want up for initiation next. And how they initiate them is they basically I take off the cookie show. mark. Right? Uh, yes, yes, they cut off the cutie mark and brand a yeah, mark in its place. But the cutie mark is hair. Uh, is it? Well, yes, it is. Yeah, if you I look think, back yeah. to the uh, Ponyville Confidential, they shaved off Sniffs and Sales is hair because they got gummed in right. it. Yep. Their cutie marks were gone. It is hair. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, the, the cutie marks are actually hair. So, um, that was so. It's an unnecessary uh, cutting, but hey, if you're going to be evil, you might as well go all the way with it. Um, it's okay. Anyway. <laughs> it's so easy when you're evil. Actually, to be fair, that actually does make a bit of sense, since it implies that the cutie mark is more of a you know stylistic thing rather than an actual tattoo, uh, which might look slim thing of a odd impression. Anyway, yes. so. The CMC, the evil CMC, uh, start, you know, sending Phillies and Foles into, uh, or sorry, Phillies and Colts into the forest to get uh, evil fied by Twilight. At the same time, uh, Fluttershy and mysterious Pony Stranger meet back up with uh, the elements of Harmony, our heroes. Our uh, heroes. Oh. Heroes, ladies and gentlemen, and reveal that mysterious Stranger is actually. Mayor Duell. Uh, Oh, the well, scoundrel! This version of uh, you know reality is Luna, essentially. Yes, who, who uh, leads the rebellion? Who yeah leads the rebellion against the Celeste. you know tyrannical Celeste? Yeah. Uh, the story then sort of you know moves ahead to another gigantic climactic battle as <laughs> you know good as a good alternate universe Luna, uh, good our universe Luna. And Celeste do battle, battle against Twilight Monster. And also, I have to say, don't they kill the three evil CMC? Yeah, I think it. Uh, I think at one point, evil Fluttershy kills two of them, and then the last one gets killed by a uh, good twist. Yeah, or, or like good alternate universe. What were the twist. names again? I forgot yeah. their names. I forget their names too. They were it, they're ridiculous. really my what, what, Which yeah, one was really Callisto character. again? Callisto was Scootaloo. Callisto, I okay, no, that one, she survived, didn't she? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, no, 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 that was Apple Bloom. Yeah, Callisto evil Apple, Apple Bloom. Bloom. Okay, uh, I was going to say, I, I, I thought Evil Apple, Apple Bloom survived, because... Uh, yeah, yeah, she, she survived. Yeah, see? Because yeah. Amanita Jack turns uh, nice. Turns she into turns cheese. Up. Yeah, so e- e- evil, evil Applejack turns good, and so does Evil Apple Bloom. Uh, oh, all the other oh. evil alternates get murderized. Basically, yeah. what happened What happened in the story is, in the evil, in Astrosia... The element of discord that was on um, Celeste's wing was the thing causing every pony to be fucking mean. And 
it's basically it's basically causing chaos. Basically, yeah, causing it to be evil and mean. So, I mean, Duhad, your thing earlier about saying that it, those elements cannot sustain a uh, a society. Yeah. Well, obviously they can if they're influencing a whole populace. Yeah. Actually, the thing that I find kind of funny about the fact that uh, Celeste is literally carrying around a device that makes everyone act kind of stupidly evil Yay. is that there's a trope name. There's a uh, trope called holding the idi- uh, calling. It's called uh, holding the villain ball, I and it's say, basically say where a character. Uh, there's a, there's another one called holding the idiot ball, but uh, okay. holding the villain ball is basically where a character who is not normally either evil or you know uh, you know foolishly evil will suddenly act out of character in order to be evil for the plot to progress. Well, well no, no, here's the, here's the thing. is She's not carrying around something. It's like a tattoo on her wing. Well, you, no, I know, I know that. I, it's, it, I'm being metaphorical. Okay. What, what I'm saying is it's a trope, you know, that's called holding the idiot ball. Sorry, called holding the bullet ball, which is basically, it isn't actually holding a ball. It's basically it's just my character acts somewhat out of character in order to be villainous, in order to move the plot ahead. Oh, this today. And in this case... Uh, Celeste is almost literally carrying a villain ball, like an actual villain ball, which I just find for, sort of amusing. In a, okay. in a Anyways, sort of what happens next is um, Vanity tears the feathers off of Celeste's wing, and she gains that power. And believe, does she become an alicorn? Yeah. Uh, yeah oh, Winkley. lightning! The, 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 the M Dubs is back. M Dubs to his house. Dub dub dub. Anyways. Anyway. So yeah, they uh, this uh, removes Celeste's power uh, and allows them to pull uh, you know uh, Twilight Doom back from Yay! madness by bringing her friends together and doing the whole you now, know. Anti-dis- now this is where this is where things get a little dicey. Okay, what Slice and dies because she dies anyway. What happens is they purify Twilight, and it turns out oh, the hold other. On, hold on, hold on. You're talking about Vanity being. Killed. Burned to death, killed, essentially. Right? No. Yeah, yeah, yes. Vanity is, Vanity is killed by... Shut up. Vanity is killed by Celeste. And Solar then... Beam! Yes. Whoa! Shira! With that sound effect. And what happened next, basically, is... Okay, skip ahead of it, because you've read this. Anyways, the elements of harmony cure Twilight and make her all good again. And then it turns out that the other five elements of Discord that Celeste was looking for were Nightmare Moon's armor that were thrust into the MLP main universe uh, a long time ago. In the galaxy yeah, right, far, yeah. far away. Although it came, came later, never mind. Yeah. And then Celeste becomes this giant, all-consuming beast of, I don't know. Of chaos, I don't know. Mm, yeah, I agree. Basically chaos. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot that's what happened to her. I thought the chaos monster was just something else. I must have no, her. she becomes the chaos monster. Okay, yeah, so yeah, Celeste so becomes a chaos. I will destroy you all, but the elements of harmony prevail. Yeah. Big surprise there. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, Let a villain win. Anyway, so yes, uh, oh, evil no. is de- that... evil and chaos are defeated. <laughs> Celeste is destroyed. Lightning's Twilight trying is saved, to say and... something. I, I mean, that's when the, the elements of harmony don't do shit. They, they, they uh, help out oh, Twilight, and then Selena shows up, and... Selena? Oh, right. The singer, that, Selena Luna. Gomez? No, that's Luna. That's, yeah. uh, Selena is... Uh, evil version. Good evil Luna. Yeah. Well, I kept. I, I, I'm Luna. still going to think Selena Gomez. But yeah, Selena shows up in the, uh, in prison. Uh, Celeste in the sun. Sun, right, 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 right. That's how they, they defeated her. Um, Threw her so the sun. I will survive. Can I kill her? Anyways. Yes. Okay. So yes. Now, so now, evil has been destroyed. Chaos is no longer reigning across uh, evil. Equestria. Alternate universe. Yes, Equestria. Uh, the surviving villains renounce their evil ways and decide to start trying to be, yeah, you know, decent ponies again. The end. And yeah, pretty much the end. My yeah. little pony. I just wanted. Okay. What... Anyways, what do you? Okay. General, is there anything you like especially liked about this story that stood out? And you're like, yes, this. Uh, the writing style and the descriptions. I love that kind of story writing where they are detailed in the description how it, and how you can envision it and stuff like that. I do love the detail. Uh, AAR, yeah. I, I, I'm going to have to disagree with you though. This story was increasingly confusing. And that I too, not, but no, I meant just the like, like general descriptions of what went on. I mean, just like the basic, you know, a couple of details. I'm like, oh, I like how they wrote this, or I like how I, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, so it was just minor things for the most part with the, how the writing went. I did like, uh, I still like that way though, how it was done. I do like... Well, here, 
the the one thing I liked about this story was an overarching storyline. Like being that half the story was a battle, you know. Um, there's an overarching overarching story of just you know Twilight being consumed by evil. This alternate worldly army that invades Equestria. There's a battle, you know. Stuff. Good was over evil, and yeah. I think I think you're getting confused here. The overarching storyline is the elements of discord. That's the name of the story, and that's it's about that. Oh. It's about the elements of Discord calling to each other. They even talk about that when Twilight first puts on the armor, that they're missing well, a piece, and it's calling to the other one. Well, I think he's referring to the fact that he likes the overall narrative of the story, uh, the you know, epic scale, the okay. battles, all that stuff. And that's fair. Um, I personally uh, liked, you know, if I was talking about something I like, I like the fact that it did two things that a lot of Dark Adventure stories I've read do not do, and that always irritate me, and that is they didn't turn the main six, with the exception of Twilight, who becomes a giant monster demon thing, into know. basically superheroes, uh, which I see happen a lot. I wonder uh, why. And they, yeah, and I, uh, they didn't write Rarity as a contemptible character. I really like Rarity. Uh, bah. I really like Rarity, but especially in adventure stories, they, people have a tendency to write her as this very shallow, very every negative stereotype of the girly girl uh, personified in a character to the point where she's often the traitor of the group or, you know, borderline evil. And, you know, the story did a decent job of not, you know, utterly murdering the character of Rarity, <laughs> which I shouldn't have to, you know, give, you know, special uh, appreciation to a story for doing that, but I do. And you, didn't, so, you didn't butcher a character at the job. Yeah, thank you very much for not butchering a character. I don't even think you're going to like listen to this. Uh, anyway. Go on, Buffon. Okay, um, one of the... One, obviously, I like, I like the whole Weepy Cry aspect, but I mean, my, her life was just so... I hate to do this. Tragic. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not. And, and you know, it's just... Her character was exceptionally well done. That little that little thing with her and being reformed, I loved it. It was just it was the best part of the damn story, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And um, I I also liked how even though it was a dark story, it also intertwined some humor in there, or it tried at least. <laughs> a for I, effort. There was there was some funny part. Well, I mean, it is an A for effort because it's really hard to blend humor in with a dark story. I'm having cows murder ponies, and it's a dark story. It sounds humorous already. You can't, you can't be, you can't, you can't be dark and funny. That's... Yes, you can. I, I'm you going can't to... actually be dark and funny. I'm They're going to be dark and funny in Mooder. He doesn't believe me. Cupcakes tried at it, but I mean, okay, well, no, well, cupcakes, cupcakes is a terrible story. But the thing is, you can be dark and funny. I mean, I love dark, uh, dark funny stories. Uh, Seven Psychopaths a is a good story. example of a movie that's actually pretty funny, despite being incredibly dark throughout That's why I said it's hard to do, because a lot of people can do it, but not a lot of people do it well. Yes. It's a difficult thing to, it's a different, it, that, it's a difficult balancing act. Um, uh, and the story doesn't necessarily pull it off perfectly, but it does succeed more often than a lot of stories do. So again, credit goes uh, to it for that. A for effort, like you yes. said. A for effort. Um, and I mean, okay, now we're just gonna do this. Um, overall score, do you have... Uh, considering the fact that I very uh, fr- infrequently give proper ratings, my score is going to be a little bit wonky compared with what I'll probably have going once I get a little bit more established. But I would probably put this story, and I know this is going to not be a particularly popular uh, number, but three out of ten. Uh, wow. It, well, it, yeah, I know. Now, admittedly, I might actually mock that up to a four, but the thing is, it doesn't quite hit average. And when I say th- uh, you know, three or four out of ten, I don't mean this in the IGN video game rating. <laughs> IGN video game rating. Good and, it's his own personal opinion. Good. Five is an average story. Six is, a be- is an above average story. When you get up to ten, we're talking about stories that absolutely change my life because of how good they were. And, you know, a four is not great, but there's enough there that I enjoyed reading it, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to people just for a fun, casual read. Uh, It isn't necessarily bad, but it's below average. Mm. 
Okay, lightning. Well, um, actually, I really like that way of scoring. But anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll go with the way I have been doing it in the past. Um, the one thing I do want to mention before I give my score is that uh, the grammar was something that really I, I almost couldn't finish the first chapter uh, um, because of, of how bad it was. And um, it, it got better. Tom goes to Ponyville. But there were still, but there were still some uh, parts where it, it, it shone through. So um, I'm going to give this, this story a 6 out of 10. Oh, wow. That's the lowest uh, score you've ever given, I think. I, yeah. That's a line. Uh, and, and, it, and, 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 and it's not a bad story. I actually enjoyed it, but it was um, overly overly confusing towards the end especially. No, it wasn't. And uh, The way I, it portrayed some things was a bit confusing. Like, when did this come in? Ooh. But yeah, that's yeah. Stop my story. I hate looking okay, at AR? questions constantly. Um, yes, hello, I'm AR. Um, personally, me, I didn't really like this story too much either. Actually, I don't know. It, I enjoyed the action and those scenes like that, but overall, I didn't like the story. It seemed like another one of those exact parallel universe sort of stories, which. Uh, and I'm like, ah, I've seen enough of this sort of thing. It kind of reminded me of the movie. Battle for Los Angeles. I didn't like Battle Los An- for Los Angeles, the newest one, for its story. There really wasn't much of a story other than aliens to come and we attack back. Um, essentially, I loved it for its action. Uh, I didn't really like it for its story too much. Um, the format was a bit weird, actually, when they were writing uh, in the writing of it itself. Um, but like I said, though, I did like this battle scenes and how they wrote those out. Um, they were good at that. Uh, definitely had a dark aspect to it, which I enjoyed. But overall... I don't know. I, I I wasn't really drawn to it like a lot of people. I'd probably give it a five, hmm. something like that. Um, not because it's a terrible story. It's just not. I don't personally like it. It's just uh, everyone has their own taste. I just don't personally like the story too much. Right. Okay. Um. I'm gonna explain my my rating scale to Duhan because I mean you guys know it already, uh, but he's new. Okay. I mean, what I do <laughs> is I give every story a ten right off the bat. You get a ten. Good job. You wrote a story. Right. Good job. But as as the story goes on, if you if I find something I don't like, if I find something that's, it, I'm sorry, it's a big plot hole, or something that's just it's terrible in, in and of itself, then what I do is I take off some points. Like I take off the if it's a ten, I, it's bad. Take it down to a nine. Then you cannot recover past a nine. You cannot go above a nine. You cannot be a ten again. And as yeah. it keeps going, you deduct more and more and more until that's what you get. I mean, minor things get minor deductions, like point one or. Point five, and then the bigger things take off more points. This story, I mean, the grammar was a big thing, but the grammar was bad throughout, so it was still one major point. Um, so the grammar wasn't that the grammar was that big. I could still read it and not be confused, so it wasn't terribly bad. Uh, um, I mean, I like I liked the I like the battle. I like the action. That was pretty good. I love that. Yeah, the action. There, I like the action. There are some things where they introduce some characters and then just like drop them off the face of the earth. Where do they go to the bathroom Um, for a long time? I'm going to do something very shocking and give this the highest review out of all of us. (laughs) A seven. Uh, actually, yeah, you're spot on. I knew it. I'm great at guessing. I'm a very lucky person. Um, it's actually actually seven point three, but let's just round it. Seven point three. Let's round it to seven. All right. It's a round. You round down to seven here. It's a it's a seven though. I mean. Good story. Read it. You'll have fun with it. That's fair. So, thank you, thank you all for joining us on this episode of Fanatic Fiction. New Hod, thank you for becoming a new fanatic. It's a pleasure. Okay, and no, it's not. next week we will be reviewing Discordant. Finally, uh, you mean in, in, in two weeks? Shut up! Don't ruin the illusion, Lightning. Don't ruin the illusion. There's an illusion to this. Yes, I've been tricked. AR, AR, because you and Surefire are fucking like two or three weeks behind posting our episodes. It's gonna be like there wasn't. Well, even actually, a that works for the better because I'm going to Oregon this week. Well, not for this week that they're listening to this or any other point in the future. I'm going to Oregon the week that was this was recorded after thing. Okay, uh, so. Either way, Cut. everyone here is do- doomed. Cut that. Anyways, what happened? Oh. 
So join us then, and we will talk about that. And also, get a since we we're about to record this, since we we're about to record this, uh, look out for the lightning round review of season three. Well, that's probably well, thank you. for them. All right, pleasure to see Bye. you all. Goodbye. You can't really. See-